Hi, this is Jim Dubois from Benny Tech, continuing with our 101 series or how-to videos. This is video number eight on how to make a purchase. You would log into your account. We strongly encourage the use of the wallet. It just makes it a more pleasant experience to purchase data. And there is a video on YouTube right now on how to set up your wallet. So you would log in, go to your account and wallet. Again, I'll refer you back to our YouTube video on the wallet. On making purchases, the focus of this video, regardless of lead type, whether it's divorces, bankruptcies, liens, just phone numbers or emails, the purchase procedure is the same. When you're in farming, of course, clear your search, go into farming, and let's just say we want to do a quick area search here for whatever type of search you're doing in California. And let's do Aliso Viejo, work your way across the tabs. Premier data, let's just say I want to go in and I want to look at account for liens data filing in the last X number of months, in the last six months in Aliso Viejo, get count. So there's 33 liens. So again, regardless of lead type, whether I'm doing, in this case, liens or bankruptcies or divorces, and I've had this question asked a lot, you're only putting one lead type in at a time. If I put another lead type in, Say I want to purchase bank uh, divorces and liens and get count, this will be no doubt a zero. You have to do these one at a time because the logic and title toolbox for the program is I want homes that have simultaneously a lead, and in that case, I just showed you a divorce, which is unlikely. So liens is what I'm looking at. I always say if you want phones and emails, you can go back and do it but you should do it now. Again, it'll just save you some extra steps. If I want both phones and email, get count. The cost will come up, $28.71. I have my farm defined where the red X's are, pay now. And again, I have $200.95 in my wallet, or if I wanted to use a credit card, I could go in and put my credit card information in, whichever one it is. And I'm going to go back just one. There's a place here to limit records. So I had 33. So for the sake of this video, I limit records. And I'm going to buy just one record, get count. One record, 87 cents, pay now. Credit balance, as I showed you, 87 cents. A nice feature is that you're able to name the farm. So I could just name this. Video, oh, I'm sorry, my cap lock is on. So I named it Video Sample Purchase, Pay Secure, Play Records. I only bought one. If there was, you know, a large farm, I bought, say, 100, 500 records. It would take some time. So here's the one property right here. Question I have a lot is where is my farm? It is right here, of course, whether it be one property or a hundred, like I mentioned, but if you go into farming, go down to farms, save farms, when this populates, video sample purchase, one property. So that's the complete steps on how to make a purchase in Title Toolbox.